Alright, I put the mic back on, so sorry about that if the audio was a little wonky because I just got a new camera. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you wouldn't have known that my camera kind of pooped out on me and my brand new one also Trevor says hi. Hello. We have lots of cleaning to do, but my camera pooped out on me, so that's why I didn't vlog while I was in Dallas because I didn't have this camera with me. I had my other one, but in all honesty, I really didn't do a whole bunch when I was there anyways, so you guys didn't miss anything other than seeing my best friend. The rest of this vlog is basically we have to clean the house and also we have a new chair that's in here my in-laws actually were going to get rid of this chair that has been in their living room for quite a while so they gave it to us and trevor they brought it here and so we're going to set that up later but right now we need to get the cleaning so you guys are going to get a huge cleaning montage because that's what we need to do and i've gotten you a present that i put on Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow is already finished doing the laundry I need to come in here also sorry that the dry or washer is loud I have no control over that but I need to come in here and see what we have and what we don't have in the fridge and get rid of stuff that's going bad because we need to go grocery shopping we have lots of stuff we need so I need to go in here now that we got rid of all the stuff that is most likely bad in there. Now we need to make a list of all the stuff that we need. Do we still need toothpaste? Yes. I went ahead and went through the fridge to see what we need because I told you guys I need to go grocery shopping. Trevor is sitting here and is going to clean out the one seat. Like what, what would this be called? Chair. like a lounge chair it's going to clean the lounge chair because it was my in-laws and they did have dogs there is a little bit of dog hair but that's fine yeah. we'll clean it off real quick oh i didn't since i didn't take you guys with me i didn't even give you guys a home goods haul of what i got when i went to home goods while in, when i was back home oh yeah i fixed mr t that's trevor's old teddy bear that he's had since you were little bitty bitty i went to Marshalls and did a little bit of shopping when I was in Dallas and of course what else do you buy when you're at Marshalls or what else do I buy when I'm at Marshalls? I bought some candles because I love having lots and lots of candles in the house. This one is called Centaur Musk. If you know you know or if you've ever been to my house because a couple of you guys were actually friends so if you've ever been to my house, you know, if you know, you know, I had to bring you guys in just a little bit because I felt like I was looking so tiny. So I got some candles. I also did get a planner. I think the planner is in one of these bags over here, so I'll have to show you guys that. Now I can give you a, a haul. So I went and honestly, I was looking for a planner. I know that... This year has been crazy, but I wanted to get a cute planner because I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually really like being organized. This one is for the year 21, so I can't use this for a couple weeks. What? When is the new year? In like two weeks? Two and a half weeks? I liked this one because of how it was structured. Oh, Hopefully you guys my can bad. see it. I'm terrible. Ooh. So I have like... I'll come closer. It has like different things like January goals and things like that, which I like. You can do December 2020 slash January 2021. Oh, I didn't even know that they had 19 days, December. 
it's ni in 19 days. Yeah. And I like this one also because you have a full rundown of every single day. And I like stuff like that because I like being able to like write down, if I need to go grocery shopping, let's put my grocery list on here. If I have certain things that I want to do or accomplish in one day, I can do that and I have enough room to write it. So that's what I got this for. I got four different candles. I got this storm one. Ooh, it smells really good. I am holding off burning these until I finish the ones that I have, which is exactly why I have one burning right there. I have that one. I already showed you guys the Santal Musk. I like manly scents in my house. I like my house to smell very warm and cozy. So that's why. This is like one of my absolute faves. It's sandalwood myrrh. If you've watched me for a while, then you know I love this. Even in Hawaii, like people like Courtney used to tell me she used to smell my house before she even walked in my house. So there's that. If that tells you anything about what kind of person I am. This one is called Cozy Cabin. And it has essential oils in it. Oh, it smells so good. Whenever it's Christmas time, me and Trevor always try to go to the store and get one that, what was it called, babe? Is it called a Christmas tree? Or what's it called? It's this one. We don't burn it until like until the week of Christmas or Christmas. Yep. And it's called Cedar and Balsam. It is from Red Leaf Home. So if you guys ever see this so good. at Home Goods or Marshalls or TJ Maxx, smell it because this is probably what my house smells like trevor loves this scent and so it literally i don't know what it is about this but when we lived in hawaii obviously we both looked at each other and we we're like it smells like christmas. yeah it smells like christmas so like i actually have a vlog of that day where a lady stole my candle do you remember that yeah. and you were so mad Freaking if bad. you guys have watched me that long then you would have seen us like get upset because this lady stole our candle luckily we found it again but yeah, so this is what my house will be smelling like on Christmas. So if you guys ever see this, like I said, it's called Cedar and Balsam. It's a natural coconut wax blend. It said it's a blend of fir needles, amber, and wood with a hint of mint. So this is what my house will be smelling like. And I also got this because it's called Tumbling Tower. I feel like they can't call it Jenga because, like, copyright issues. But I got this because... Me and Trevor have never, we like playing games together. I love like, Tower. Yeah, so, well you like Jenga, but yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. And we, I used to love playing Jenga, and so like I said, me and Trevor like playing games together, so I thought this would be perfect, especially like on Christmas if you wanna play or. You, you wanna know a crazy story about that with me? What? So at church, they had this huge, one, like, these huge one. Oh yeah. Was, like this tall. And so whenever I showed up at church, they would literally put it all back together and we're like, we're playing him. Mm -hmm. And so I would literally get it to where we would have to get a step stool. Oh, to go the up. Before started, yeah. And everybody, everybody was like, there ain't no way, there ain't no way. And I was so good at it. I would get it all, all the way up to here. Uh -huh. And finally the last guy, he would have like one that you couldn't Yeah, it was going to fall. And he'd be like, how did you do all that? I'm like, I've been playing this for a minute. <laughs> well, you can even play by yourself too. So that's what's cool about this. Jenga. Jenga King. Oh, okay. I'm in the presence of royalty over uh -huh. here, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, I bought that. It was literally, like, I think $5. Yeah, it was $5. So, very good. Also, I had been wanting a steamer. So, this is what this is. It's a steamer. I have heard a lot of things. I heard it's a game changer. Every, all of my friends have told me, like, they've switched from the regular iron to a steamer because it's so much easier. And it, like, gets your clothes nice and, like, crisp. Even without having to sit there and like iron your entire clothes. Huh? The price was great. Yeah, the price was great as well. So I got it for $12.99. So again, if you guys are looking for just like plain stuff, also if Trevor keeps walking, it's literally because he's putting his like hunting stuff away and I don't know where any of that goes. So that's what, it's that's why. Sorry guys. Yeah, that's why he's doing that. But yeah, I got a steamer. So. There's this. I am very excited to try it out. And if it doesn't work out, then it was only like $12. So that's not that big of a deal. But I just wanted to give you guys this little haul. I am going to help out Trevor and finish the rest of cleaning in here. And then we will definitely be going grocery shopping very soon. I totally also I'm like I've been on the floor a lot today. I feel like it's because I have the best lighting down here. So 
you just hanging out with me. But I bought a new product while I was in Dallas, and it's this. It's the Dr. Teal's Moisturizing Bath and Body Oil. I haven't used it in the bath yet because, in all honesty, I just really don't take a lot of baths while I've been here. I haven't taken a... Now that I think about it, I have not taken a bath while we've been in this house as of yet. My mother-in-law actually has the Dr. Teal's Coconut Oil with Essential Oils, but she has it in the lotion. And you guys know I love the Dr. Teal's lotion. I have the hemp one, but I couldn't find, I kept looking for the one that she had. And for some reason I thought it had a lime on it, but it didn't. It's literally this one. It smells like a coconut and lime, like it smells delicious. Also, I know that normally with oils, it leaves you like very sticky and oily and no, this one, I don't know what it is about it. This absorbs into my skin and I feel like it gets so much moisturization in it. So I definitely suggest, if you guys have not tried this, definitely try it. I also suggest obviously pairing it with the lotion, put the lotion on first and then this, but I like, I put it on and my skin doesn't feel like oily or sticky it literally just feels moisturized so if you guys are looking for something moisturizing especially since it's the winter time and our skin just needs it like my skin was looking crusty dusty busty and it was not a thing so i just really <laughs> i really needed it no for real i was remember i was telling you like my skin needs something because oh, i was getting i was getting i was getting bad so i say that with love <laughs> no, I was getting ashy. Like, oh my gosh. He doesn't understand. But, this is brown people problem. But, so, yeah. I suggest this for anybody. It doesn't matter really who you are. I even put this on Trevor a little bit. And he liked it. Did you like it when I put it on you? It, it's nice on your skin. Also, like, I swear I'm getting lighter. Like, I'm getting whiter. I don't know if you guys can, like, tell. I, why do I look so brown compared to my face? My face is always the one that's, like, white. And then I'm, like, brown. Anyways, Hawaii is sticking with me in that sense, but Trevor is going to, we're going to be on a journey, a, a non-ashy, non, a very moisturized journey. So I highly suggest this. I just wanted to tell you guys that real quick because I saw it when I was taking out one of my bags and I was like, I need to tell them about this because it's just amazing. So there's my little moisturizing rant for the day. I'm gonna talk about it on IG stories too, so if you see my IG stories first before this vlog, what's up to my IG gang? So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go. Trevor's going to vacuum the bottom of this seat and then we're gonna put it in place. All right, so we're in the car now, obviously. Trevor's gonna check our mail. We probably have, do we have a lot? We haven't checked the mail in a good minute because we haven't been here, so. That's what I'm doing now. We are going to go to Sam's and to HEB. So that's the plan. I will try to talk to you guys as much as I can while I'm in there. What is that? Anyways, I'm going to try to talk to you as much as I can while we're in the stores. And there's your little update. Quick update. Me and Trevor mm. are in Sam's. I'm going to get some broccoli cheddar soup because I already know that I like this. I have not tried the loaded baked potato, but I already know I like that. And I want to try it for lunches this even looks really good like the little like cheese sticks but i think i should get a smaller one because that's not gonna do that's way too much for me so we're in sam's we've been in here for a while but me and trevor have this thing where every single holiday season we try to get like a little treat yep so we're looking in like the holiday section because normally we get like i don't know like cookies or something like that and this year we haven't gotten anything so we are looking for a little holiday treat Yep. And you guys will see the grocery haul anyways, so I'm not going to show you what we have in our basket because I'm going to show you that regardless. But they have a lot here at Sam's. Smoked Gouda and black pepper. They have lots and lots of holiday stuff. Look at this one. Five gourmet popcorn flavors. Caramel, chocolate flavored, white cheddar, pep peppermint, cracked black pepper and sea salt. The rest of the stuff is like pretty Dashing cool. This is like little cookies. cookies. Shortbreads. Babe, I really think I want those, uh... Those Belgians? Those Belgians. They look, no, they look good. I'm just doing a circle, guys, so we can see what's all here. What's oh, this? look, they have some on the other side. What is that? They look... Pastry-filled like vanilla of cream. Italy. What is it? Italy and pastry cookies. Oh, they're little cookies, and they're filled with stuff. Yeah. Like, chocolate cream, vanilla cream. See, but I don't like stuff like that, generally. 
we just got out of Sam's. We did get quite a couple things in there. I'm going to give you guys a full haul. We didn't get the chocolates that... Trevor was trying to convince me to get $20 worth of chocolate. And that would definitely was not happening. But we're about to go home. Like I said, we're in the Sam's parking lot. Gonna go home. We actually decided we're gonna eat a little bit of that uh, broccoli cheddar soup that I showed you guys. Because we haven't eaten anything. And it's already like about to be 3. We woke up super late. We let ourselves sleep in today because we were both traveling long distances yesterday. So we slept in, enjoyed that. We're gonna eat some soup before we go back to the store because you never wanna go to the store hungry because then you wanna buy everything. So I'll give you guys a full haul when we get home. Hey, what's up guys? So doing a little, quick little grocery haul myself. Uh, I got Cap'n Crunch because that's the best shit in the world. Oh yeah. And wifey here. I'm um, opening bills. She wanted the raspberry lemonade. And so we're going to try that out. Try that one out. Sorry. And y'all know we love salmon. So we got another thing of salmon. We're actually eating salmon tonight. Yeah. Dinner. This was way cheaper getting the big bag. Because um, if you go to like a gas station or whatever, it's literally the same price. For the smaller bag just going to sam's that would have that been one. originally i don't know it was like three dollars yeah it was cheap 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 um this is completely besides the subject uh i got her a stocking stuffer i'm gonna take her somewhere tonight and then she'll have that for her content she has no idea exactly where i'm taking her i literally her. have no idea where we're going what yeah. we're doing nothing yeah the only thing so far is that she will need that so i gave it to her <laughs> naughty nice i tried <laughs> And then uh, she loves oranges, so he got her some mini oranges. And we got these guys. Tell them what you tried to make me do. What, what do you mean? You tried to make, he tried to literally convince me to let him get $20 worth of chocolate. Hey, now you can't, no, it looked like some good chocolate. Okay. Like, let me do this thing. Yeah, it looked like some good chocolate, okay? Like, we got these Italian truffles here. Okay, well, we only got one of them. They look good, so... Well, at first, we thought... There at first, hold on. I'm having to get used to this. At right. first, we thought that it was only it was only yeah. one pack. My hair. But we saw it, and there was two, so I was like, that's way too much chocolate. We're not getting all of that. Yeah. So... Yeah, so... That's what happened. We got these guys from Sam's. All this stuff is from Sam's. Um, we're gonna go to H-E-B, but we're gonna eat something first. Yeah, we got broccoli cheddar soup. It we're comes gonna have with some of that two of them. for lunch. Um, we got four, uh, it's a four pack of unsalted butter, because we were out. And then, obviously, a gallon of vitamin D milk was like $2.00. So, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're that's literally it. going to eat before we go to Sam's, or to Sam's, or before H -E we go to H-E-B. We're going to have a little bit of the bro broccoli cheddar soup in bowls, and then we are, I'm probably going to have, like, maybe two mandarins, and then we're going to go, because I am already starting to get a headache slash hungry, yeah. so we definitely need to do that. I'm going to finish opening up the rest of our bills, and then we're good to go. Trevor and I are having a cute little romantic date on our <laughs> on our bench, and we're going to watch Gold Rush. I am heating up my soup right now. I have like four mandarin oranges so that I can eat those, so I can have lunch. And then afterwards, pretty much right after, we're going to go straight to H-E-B, do and get what I need there. There's quite a couple things that I still need for just the week and then we should be good to go and yes me and trevor have been obsessed with watching gold rush if you haven't seen it before it's just a show about people literally mining for gold i don't know so that's what we've been watching for the week a super quick grocery haul for you I got some daytime cold and medicine. Like having that in the house in general, especially with cold and flu season coming up. We got some Colgate because we ran out of toothpaste. 
we got some ricotta, some brie. I've actually never tried brie cheese, but I'm very excited because a lot of people tell me they like it. They We got some chicken breast, two things of ground beef, two different types of lunch meat. We got mesquite smoked ham and then peppered turkey breast. This is mainly going to be for Trevor, like for sandwiches. We needed some more eggs. We got eggs. You guys already know we won't finish a whole ham, so we just get a slice of ham and then cut it in half and share it as a dinner. And then the last thing we got was this. Trevor actually wanted to try this cilantro lime salsa cremosa. So he's going to try that. Tell me how he likes it because we're planning on making tacos. But that's our mini little grocery haul from H-E-B. There, that'll work. So Ivy has no idea. Um, I'm going to put together some snacks and food. I'm going to make her some hot chocolate to go inside of her mug I got her. No. The. The naughty nice I tried. My ears. I can't hear anything. Not a thing. All I hear is my voice. All I hear is my voice. I can't hear a thing. Still can't hear anything. I'm going to my room. All the way to my room. So, I'm going to fill it up with hot chocolate with some whipped cream, and I'm going to get mine too, and then we're going to head out. It's about an hour drive away, uh, and a link below or a picture will show you where San Saba, a picture of it, and a few other photos of the town. It's the pecan capital of the world, and it's a town I have to pass through. I've passed through the town for 15 years? No. Wait, yeah, yeah, 15 years. I've been passing through there to go hunting every year. And uh, it's a cute little town. It's great people. Um, it's mixed here and there. It's a lot of ranchers and it's really nice. And something I saw on the way out coming back to, um, coming back from the trip, was um, this Christmas light show. And I thought it was super cool and I've been wanting to take her somewhere to go see lights, but we're in the middle of Colleen. There's not really any events going on this year, nothing really popping out. So this one, um, you can walk around through it and they set the whole thing up for the whole town. And I was, I was leaving the town, I was like, I need to bring her here. I need to bring her here at the end of the weekend. So I'm going to take her. I hope she's in, I hope she'll enjoy it. I hope she has a lot of fun and I hope she enjoys this daytime. Love you, baby. I haven't spoken to you in, hold on, in quite a while. Trevor is actually making us a little bit of hot chocolate. I actually already ate dinner because I had a big headache. So Trevor made me I prepared the salmon and he put it in the oven and then he made me mashed potatoes with gravy. So that's what I eat for dinner and I'm actually pretty full but he said that wherever we're going is about an hour away and we are taking the, we're taking some hot chocolate and I think I already showed you guys that Trevor bought this for me. Especially, he said especially for this occasion so we'll see what we're doing. I literally have pretty much no idea where we're going. <sighs> Trevor likes to surprise me because every That's right. si Yeah, because every single time he has ever tried to surprise me, it just doesn't work out because I either guess it or something along those lines. Or so buys it for you before again. Yeah, so basically this is like our little surprise. He told me to put a jacket on, so I have an undershirt under here and then just my sweater and I have these cute little booties on. I'm just wearing leggings, but I have these cute little booties on that I have literally had for years. So we're going to take quite a bit of a drive because it's about an hour away. And I will keep updating you guys on the surprise because like I said, I don't know what it is. And hopefully the lighting isn't like too bad when we go because I don't know, it is nighttime. So hopefully the lighting isn't bad. I will try to document everything because I don't know. It was harder to do like holiday stuff when we were in Hawaii because there was only so many things you could go to or do. So I'm excited. 
All right, guys, you can't see me. Hold on, there we go. I'm sorry if I am orange. Yeah, we're in San Saba. So I know where we are, me and Trevor, this is kind of like a special place to us in a way because Trevor actually brought, oh my gosh, that's a lot of light. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Trevor brought me here because uh, Trevor actually hunts kind of close to where this is and he brought me to low-key a light show. What is this? Um, wait, what is this, babe? Hold on, let me turn this off because I don't want to distract anybody. Oh my gosh. Wait, is this a light show for real, for real? This is crazy. Look, guys. I've literally net well I've never been to it here. Did you see this when you were when you were here? Yeah. Okay, so guys, this is a light show, literally. <laughs> I hope you can see it pretty well. This is a light show here in the area. And we're going in. This is so cool. I didn't even know they did this. I thought you would like this. Oh yeah, I love lights. Is this just like a free thing? Look at all of the lights. Me and Trevor, it says tune 88.7. So let's put it on. 88.7. I'm probably going to put music on over this because I don't want to get copyrighted, but here it is. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start Have you ever been here before? I missed you, so you just saw it on the side of the road? When you came? Look, you can even drive, babe the good times with you baby this year it's just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill guys so oh my gosh i almost fell okay? <laughs> yeah I'm, trevor did, trevor tells me he goes i didn't even know this was here i just passed by it yeah he just passed by and he knows this is right up my alley wait this is so wet over here babe i don't want to go down here it's wet Okay, well, I'm glad I wore boots. Oh my gosh. Guys, I literally had no idea where we were going. <laughs> But this was so cool. We're still like walking around a little bit. Sorry if you can't see us all Whatever that well. It surprise her. Yeah, it really did. <laughs> well, because Trevor, I always ruin the surprise because I always guess it. It's not so on a purpose. Smart. You're too smart it's for just own. I always guess it. So yeah. And if you saw my Instagram stories, because this is coming out. Oh my gosh, it's so cold out here, guys. Oh yeah. yeah. Trevor made us some abuelitas hot chocolate before we left home. In her new little cup. In my new little cup. If you if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it. But oh my gosh. Wait, babe. I need to take a picture in front of that. Or I need to take a picture of it for the for the thumbnail. Oh they my gosh. They also have it on during the day. They do? The lights, yes. Yeah. Oh, we need to get in a better lit place, but this is so cool. So there's lots of lights, hold on, I have to come this way, you guys can see me. Lots and lots of lights, as you can see. Oh, hello lighting, okay. Um, Trevor literally was just telling me, tell them what you just told me. 
So I was literally driving on the main road over there. And keep in mind, this was when he was gone. I told yeah. you guys I was in Dallas. I passed this at like four in the morning. And I thought it was so cool. I was like, man, I've got to bring that one here. And so me and my dad, we left the other night. And I saw it again. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely bringing her. Like, this is amazing. Didn't see a single car passing through, nothing. I was like, I don't care if it's a fucking park. We'll walk our asses in there. <laughs> like, this is cool. And sure enough, uh, just now, I was like, oh, yeah, this is drivable. Okay, we're good. <laughs> so... We parked and uh, it's amazing. So literally Trevor didn't even know this could have literally been a park with like two lights. Yep. But he's like, we're gonna drive the hour <laughs> to come out here. No, like I saw, I didn't see all these lights because we're further back in here now. Yeah. But in the front, it was We did like, a little walk In the front, like if you look that way, yeah. like you'll see it light up. And yeah. for the majority, that's what I saw all out there. But as we come further in here, it's just better and better. Yeah, it looks really good. And now we're under here with the lighting. So you guys, I'm sorry if it here, looks crazy. It's so good. The abuelitas, yeah. yeah. I taught my baby well. Right? I taught him well. Yep. Also, you guys, I showed you guys the, the cup that he... <laughs> oh, Trevor's feeling himself. You see what he does when he feels himself? Yeah. It's Ooh, dork. It's dork. <laughs> we gotta go. It's dork. I think there's a song that's about to start. Careful over here. You got my phone? Yes. No, because even the lights over here. Okay, let's come over here to this little area. Look, guys. I like this. Trevor's over here feeling him himself. Guys, we're in the car. We're gonna do the drive through now. I am gonna put copyright free music over this because I most likely will get copyrighted, but my face is freezing. So now we're gonna go in the car and drive around and I'll show you guys the rest of what it's all looking like. Like I said, you can walk and it is completely free. So definitely, definitely, if you have children, bring them here if you're in the Fort Hood area. just got home it wasn't a drive-through situation it was just a walk around so i'm glad that we got off and walked but i just got home i am going to relax for the rest of the night i just wanted to come off come on and end the vlog and say i hope you guys enjoyed if you did I, and you're new i hope you stick around and if you're not thank you guys for always coming back and supporting my channel and just hanging out with me and i will see you guys very soon in my next vlog Dinosaur.